How's it going guys and welcome to Form Our Ranch. So the good news is that it is a great day to be a consumer in the thermal market because as a general rule of thumb, thermal devices are continuing to improve in performance while also decrease in cost. Obviously there's gonna be exceptions to every rule. However, the downside is there are so many different options that you may be left wondering what is right for you. So in typical Formar Ranch fashion, I thought I would put together a comparison comparing a 256, 384, 640, and all the way up to a 1280 core thermal sensor in the same environment from distances going from 50 yards all the way out to two miles. Now I do wanna point out that I tried to give you guys some real world comparison meaning I did this during the daytime. It was a little under 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity wasn't non-existent, but it wasn't over the top either. And the reason I point this out is because thermal devices can be used day and night. However, they look best when there is increased contrast between living things and the environment. So at nighttime where the sun isn't shining on things, making things radiate, it's gonna look a lot better. So I did not give any of these devices any kind of advantage and I wanted to portray some realistic and conservative results for you. As a baseline, all the devices you see have a 12 micron pixel density Obviously, there's going to be different base magnifications. If you want to learn more about the devices, check the description below. These are also all ATN sensors, so I'm trying to keep things as uniform as possible. Now, from the 50 yard range all the way out to one mile, we're kind of just going up a fence line, first starting in an open field from that 50 from the 50 yards to 500 yards, it's just gonna be an individual standing by themselves. But once we get to the 750 yard to two miles, that individual is gonna be standing in proximity to a truck, just to help you guys spot things a little bit better. Obviously with the 256 base sensor resolution at two miles, it's gonna be very difficult to know what you're looking at, but the point is to compare these things and see how much of a performance gain, if any, there are over these distances. So like I said, I'm gonna, for the most part, not talk and just let you take a look at how these things perform and how they do. If there's any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I appreciate you checking this out. And I hope this is useful to someone who's just trying to compare thermal sensors. 